Cuba's investigation has found that those serving our country may be getting second-rate service at a time when they need it most. The American Red Cross is supposed to relay urgent personal messages to our service members and confirm an emergency exists so they can take leave. But sources tell our investigative reporter Mitch Blocker the Red Cross is taking longer than they used to to confirm these emergencies. I don't understand why why the Red Cross took so long. For more than 40 days, this Marine who doesn't want his face shown has been waiting at Camp Pendleton, waiting to get leave so he can see his mother, who is dying of cancer. Did you feel like you were important, <laughs> like your case was important? Uh, not so much. In June 2011, the Red Cross changed how its four emergency call centers operate. Our sources say before the change, one caseworker would handle a case from start to finish, notifying a military service member of an emergency and verifying the emergency so leave could be approved. But now they say different caseworkers work different parts of a case and slow down the notification and verification process. You cannot piecemeal work of this nature and expect to produce quality. Robert Bilberg worked inside an emergency call center for 10 years until he says he was fired for complaining about the changes. The Red Cross wouldn't talk about Bilberg's job status, only saying he was one of the 160 caseworkers working more than a half million cases every year across America. Cases that used to take days are now taking weeks and months. One source provided 50 examples of confidential cases they worked since June 2011 from the San Diego office. They show emergencies taking the Red Cross from six hours to 35 days to confirm. One described how it took 19 days to confirm a serviceman's wife was having surgery. Another said it took three days to confirm a serviceman's grandfather had a stroke. And another said it took two days to confirm a serviceman's infant daughter was having seizures. Our sources say these cases are examples of those that took longer than they should have. Was there ever any conversation, any thought that perhaps making a change could decrease the level of service? No. The Red Cross's National Call Center Director, John Galvez. Can you think of any cases that you could have handled better? Um, no. Any regrets? No. I'm, I'm very proud to be part of this team. Um, really, there's not one thing that, that you think you could have done better maybe with one case well, out of a half million? Well, I. I'm not going to speak about specific cases. Galvez says the changes have nothing to do with money or Department of Defense support. However, a 2004 DOD report to Congress claimed the Red Cross Emergency Services Program may be obsolete, that the Department of Defense no longer requires verification of an emergency before approving emergency leave. Nevertheless, many commanders still won't grant leave without verification. Does the Department of Defense question any of your performance abilities, any of the services that you're providing to the military? No. They've never asked any questions? No. The Department of Defense gave the Red Cross a $24 million grant last year to run the emergency call centers. Congress mandates the DOD give the Red Cross money, but according to the DOD, how much is based on the value of the program. Mitch, 95% of clients who we have served have rated the level of service and the helpfulness of the Red Cross worker as either excellent or good. What about the other 5%? What do they say? I don't know about the other 5% because we don't know who those people are. We talked with, with one Marine who's in Camp Pendleton who's been waiting 40 days to get leave to see his mother who's dying of cancer. And the only reason he hasn't received this leave is because the Red Cross has not confirmed that an emergency exists. Well, um, I cannot comment on any specific cases, and I, and I do find it reprehensible that anyone would share confidential military information of, of military families with anyone. This Marine didn't care that we saw his case file. He told us he just wants to see his mom. They need to do their job. Now, Galvez says that he questions the release of that conf confidential information because it violates military privacy, not because of the questions it raises about the emergency call center. We should also tell you we will not release any of the names uh, or the private information of the military members or their families involved in those files. Yeah. Let's talk about these caseworkers. Just yeah. how many cases does each one handle? The, well, the Red Cross says there are 160 across the country who handle about 500,000 cases every single year. Uh, we did the math. I'm going to check my notes here. Mm -hmm. uh, that means every caseworker takes about 3,100 calls a year. Mm -hmm. It breaks down to about eight, eight and a half a day. Still a big load. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. Thank All right. you, Mitch. Thank you.